Hello everyone, finally I'm about to do my video review of Shortly AI. Before we start, I'd like to say that I'll leave a link in the description for my full written review over at makemoneypro.com. Also, I'll leave my affiliate link for Shortly AI in the description. So if you're interested in trying out the, uh, the tool after watching this video, or trying out their free trial of course i would highly appreciate it if you could use my affiliate link that will help to support the channel and help me to write more articles and make more videos all about the subject of ai so when i'm doing the shortly ai review i feel it's very important because i feel that shortly ai is a very misunderstood tool for the basic reason that when most people sign up for shortly ai they are loading into this this dashboard and they think oh all i'm able to do is write an article or a story or a blog and that's it but actually this is rather deceptive shortly ai is able to do a lot of things it's able to do a lot of the short form marketing content that you get from other tools such as copy ai and conversion ai but they've actually gone for a slightly different way of working that I really like. Now, usually with other tools, like the ones that I have just mentioned, they will, when you first log in, show you a load of templates that you can use for generating different kinds of content. Usually you'll get at least 30, but some of these other tools will have over 50 of these, these templates. I find that rather annoying because I find it very confusing as to which is the best template for me to use and you need to fill in a load of information and you don't always get a high quality output. Whereas with Shortly AI, it is able to do all of these things, but you just have to use the, the commands. So in the bottom right hand side, when you're in the, the text editor, you can see that there is this this icon that looks like a piece of paper. When you click on that, you get the four main commands, instruct, rewrite, shorten, and expand. Now I use the instruct command most of the time, and you can use this for generating all kinds of things. Blog posts, titles, storylines for a movie, all of these, these things. But the thing is, you just need to learn what what the best thing is for you to type into the input of the instruct command for you to get these things out. You can have a look at some, some of my other videos on the Make Money Bro um, YouTube channel where I show some real examples of me generating all of these, th these different things with Shortly AI. Um, but for me, this is a great way of working, but for some people, I think that you need to be prepared to play around with shortly AI, shortly AI a little bit, especially at the beginning. There's a little bit of a learning curve. But if you're the kind of person that just wants to log into a writing tool and start to generate things really quickly without that much of a learning, learning curve, maybe this isn't the tool for you. But if you're willing to spend a little, a little bit of time, learn some of the best inputs, the outputs are amazing, right? So for example, I've used a, another tool here to generate some blog post ideas for the, um, the best way to grow vegetables in a, a city. And you can see this is what it's generated, some pretty okay headline ideas. Now, a lot of people think, oh, uh, I can't really do this in shortly AI, blah, 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 but actually it's really easy. So I have started a new document in the article brief. I just have typed in, give me some headline ideas for an article about the best way to grow vegetables in a city. I've then added the title, best way to grow vegetables in a city. And then I have my instruct command, give me some headline ideas for an article about the best way to grow vegetables in a a city then all you have to do is click the the write for me button and then it will start to write there you go urban farming a growing trend 
vegetables you can grow in your city apartment advice for the best way to grow veggies in your city right and i think that you can see that the quality of the output is really good and if you find out you don't really like this you can very easily ask it to redo there is a redo button right next to the write for me button you can ask it to undo for you to start again and try inputting something slightly different in the instruct command or you can just have your cursor at the end of these titles and ask it again to write for you and then it will start to add more ideas okay so i find this is really really good the the output is really amazing but you just need to learn what the best input is for you for you to give um the other reason the other main reason that i really like shortly ai is because i use these ai tools mostly for writing articles and i find that with other tools they're not very good at writing full articles because all of these or most of these these tools at the moment are based on the open ai gtp3 framework right or or ai and they have openly said they don't like the idea of long form content because they're worried that people are going to just basically generate thousands of articles and spread that all all over the internet like wildfire so they're actually on purpose trying to make it hard for people to come up with long form content so most of the other tools when they make these long form articles what they will do is basically generate lots of small paragraphs or sections of an article and they will generate each of these individually and then at the end they will paste them all together in one article but the problem i find with that is often each of the the sections are not very well linked together the flow of the article is not very good and i end up having to do a lot of heavy editing it kind of but defeats the object in the first place of using AI. Whereas with shortly AI, I could just simply start to, to type, right? So I could write, uh, welcome to my article. And by the way, I apologize if you can hear my keyboard. I have a, a gaming keyboard, which is a little bit on the, the clicky side. So sorry about that. Welcome to my article about the best ways to grow vegetables in a city in a city. OK, so obviously this is not going to be the, the best output because, you know, I'm I'm doing this really quickly. But then I can ask the AI to write for me and then it will write more. Now you see it's asking for headline ideas. That was my bad <laughs> because I should have really changed the article brief. So let's do that again and change the article brief. Sorry. You see, no one is perfect, right? Okay, so that should be a bit better. Now let's try that again. And then, yeah, there you go. You see, so it will basically it will start to write for you. If you don't really like the things it's out, outputted, you can ask it to try again. And then maybe you only like the first thing, right? So maybe I decide, oh, I don't like this part here. I can just highlight it, right? I can like, like delete it, I can edit it. Then I can have the cursor at the end ask it to write for me again. I can like type in a bit more. It's basically like you're working with an AI assistant rather than asking the AI to generate everything by itself and then you have to go in after and do heavy editing. So this is this is one of the main things I love about short, Shortly AI and I've been using it to write long form content and I find it works really well. Um, the only thing I, I will say is that with any of these AI tools it's not only with short shortly ai sometimes it will throw out some facts that that are incorrect because it's using the whole internet to source information and then it's trying to bring that all together into its own unique content but sometimes sometimes in that that process the the truth is kind of 
lost, right? Like sometimes it will say some invention, like these these people that invented things and history, and then when you look it up, it's entirely incorrect. So that's that. That is the only warning that I will give, but that is the same for all of these tools. So yeah, these are the main reasons that I love Shortly AI. Now, when I have a look at my article here, um, the other thing I really like is the price. Now, the first thing I love about Shortly AI is it will give you an unlimited plan, which is so important because right now these AI tools are very early in development. So it is very normal it doesn't really really matter which one you are using but it's very normal that you will have to regenerate things at least a few times so if you're on a platform that is limiting you in terms of the the, the credits or the amount of words that you can generate in a month you will find that you will eat through this usually very quickly right whereas with shortly ai there's one plan it's unlimited and it's only thirty nine ninety nine a month. You have a look at the main competition. There's a lot of hype at the moment about conversion AI, um, but they are going to actually charge you ninety nine dollars a month for an unlimited plan. Whereas I pay for my annual plan on Shortly AI, and it only costs me twenty four ninety nine. And personally, I think the output that I get from Shortly AI after learning it a little bit and getting that to know some of the best instruct commands i find the output for shortly ai is way way better and more focused than conversion ai actually i have a lot of reviews for some of the other really popular tools over at make money bro so if you're interested in you know reading more about about my thoughts on those other tools then you can head over to make money bro okay so i think that is the main things that i would like to say about um shortly ai i re re really like it i'm sure that if you give it a chance you will also really like it as well it's a really simple and easy to use tool but there's just a lot of things hidden under the surface that a lot of people they don't seem to realize about um, and like I said earlier, if you're the kind of person that doesn't want to sp sp spend a little bit of time learning at all, you might want to go for something else. But if you are the kind of person that's willing to learn it, to learn some of the best inputs, you, you will be amazed at some of the things that it will be able to come out with. So thank you for watching my Shortly AI video review and hopefully I will see you in the next.